بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آل آف یو آر ڈوئنگ آئی ہوپ ایوری ون از فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ گریٹ ود دا گریس آف اللہ المائٹی دس از دا موسٹ ڈیمانڈنگ لیکچر اینڈ ان شاء اللہ وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اٹ ٹو ڈے بٹ بفور گوئنگ آن دا ایکسرسائز آئی وانٹ یو ٹو ریڈ دس آؤٹ دیر از اے ڈسکلیمر This work is my intellectual property. Instead of copying it word to word, grasp the concept, integrate your understanding on the question and then write it for yourself. I want you all to be creative writers. I, will, I don't want you to be a copycat. Rather, I want you all to enhance your creative skills, your creative writing and you can grasp the concept from this lecture so firstly um, there is glossary glossary means the the words meaning or uh, the difficult vocabulary you get in your text the first word is revered what is the meaning of revered revered means the person who is most respectable or that is highly admired and um, most of my uh, audience are urdu speakers they understand urdu language well hence i have also written down the urdu meaning for them so revered mean the person um, who is respectable yani qabil e ihtiram beacon beacon is basically a light that is used to uh, signal or warn that uh, there uh, that is used to signal or warn vehicles and in urdu i have written down roshni jis tarah you know jis tarah ambulance ke upar light hoti hai ya traffic lights hote hain beacon um, uh, to certain extent beacon means the same the third one is legacy legacy is inheritance which you get from your forefathers far parents and that is meras comprehensive comprehensive means extensive دیٹ مینس وسیع جو بہت وسیع پیمانے پہ جو چیز پھیلی ہوئی ہوتی ہے دا نیکسٹ ون از انجنکشن وٹ ڈو یو انڈرسٹینڈ فرام دا ٹرم انجنکشن انجنکشن مینس ٹو کمانڈ اور ٹو آرڈر حکم دینا میریڈ میریڈ از کوائٹ اے نیو ورڈ از مائٹ بی کوائٹ اے نیو ورڈ فار یو گائز میریڈ مینس دا تھنگ دیٹ ہیز بین ریپیٹیڈ فار سو مینی ٹائمز وچ وی کین سی تھاؤزنڈس آف فار کاؤنٹلیس and in urdu it is hazar ha spurred uh, get motivated get encouraged to do something um, high spirit and it means hosla afzai confers upon confers upon is a phrasal verb which means to give dena ata karna inflicted inflicted means pain taklif pahunchana reproach reproach means disapproval or the thing um to abuse someone in a way and in urdu it is malamat meritorious meritorious are those uh, acts that are laudable or that are admirable or uh, that are uh, uh, and in urdu it means qabil e tahseen screeching screeching is loud crying noise um, here it is written piercing cry and that is cheekhna moving towards the question parts these questions are from reading and which i have already discussed with you guys while reading but here is the comprehensive uh, intake on the questions the first question is what was the demand of nomad take a minute and recall in which paragraph uh, the concept of nomad nomad came um, it was the paragraph when uh, has anas bin malik and nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam I was going along somewhere and uh, this man nomad demanded uh, something out of Allah's wealth. So the answer is Hazrat Anas ibn Malik reported that once a nomad came to Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam do his clock violently and stated O Muhammad give me out of Allah's wealth that you possess the prophet smiled and asked Anas to do so what do you understand from the to do so to do so ka matlab hota hai وہ کرو جو کہا گیا ہے دا نیکسٹ کوشچن از واٹ از دا امپورٹینس آف کائنڈنیس 
you write this question in different way uh, you can take it the way you like the second question is what is the importance of kindness you can deal it with the way you like you can write down any example of kindness other than this and um, if you want to state from quran and ahadith give proper reference uh, according to my intake it is kindness is significantly important and prophet has given kindness a high status in his life the hadith of sahih bukhari and muslim best illustrates the importance of kindness it is the same hadith which we have read in the text the one among them is the hadith where nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam announced hell fire for the woman who mistreated a cat uh, the second one is about the man who has quenched the thirst of a dog hence his sins have been forgiven these examples highlight the significance of kindness and suggest that we should be kind and merciful with all the creatures present in this world what is the status of women in islam just take a minute and think what is the importance what is the status of women in islam we all know um, about the wives of nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam other than that um, women have enjoyed the great status in islam as um, in many cases women are considered equivalent to man they have taken part in so many um activities and the most important thing it is said that jannah has been has been put under the feet of women so this is i think so one of the greatest importance which one of the greatest status is which women has enjoyed in islam so my intake on the question is unfortunately women have been mistreated in arab with the prophet who prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has not only introduced new religious system but also he has given women their fundamental rights he created proper law and order and made sure the uh, the practice of those laws he has given them honor and dignity hence women enjoy the great status in islam or you can also put it in the way that this suggests or these these examples suggest that women have enjoyed the great status in islam okay let's move towards the next question the next question is how did hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam treat the children prophet just take a minute take a minute pause this video and think and write down your command your intake on the question uh, has muhammad sallallahu how has muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to treat his grandsons how has muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to treat other children so my intake on the question is prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to treat children with love care respect and dignity he used to play with children soothe the crying ones take them in arms and embrace them once he was hugging his grandsons hassan alaihi salam and husain alaihi salam on seeing this aqara bin hab stated i have 10 children and i have never kissed any one of them on hearing this the prophet stated the one with no pity for others is not pity all the above examples illustrate prophet's compassion for children moving on the next question how are animals to be treated animals are treated with kindness and mercy as the chapter suggests prophet announced hellfire for the woman who mistreated cat for given the sins of the person who quenched the thirst of a dog and became angry when sahaba took the chicks of a bird these examples can make the idea that animals should be treated with mercy and kindness how did the mother bird react when she did not find its chick the mother bird start uh flying uh, the mother bird started flying and screeching post reading questions this one question is uh, uh this one question has been put after the reading after the glossary part hence that is how can we instill the values of well being patience tolerance and mutual respect in our society let's go back to the main theme the main theme and the sub theme the sub theme of this chapter is well being how to create harmony how to create peace within the society so this question is re related to that these values can be instilled in society in two ways firstly the older people should show the kind and tolerant behavior towards others 
This way, the younger will observe and do the same. At the same time, stories of prophets, patients, and other motivational stories should be told and retold. Bar bar, bachcho ko apna stories batani hai, batani hai. This way, we can integrate the values of patience and kindness in the society. Moving towards the exercise questions, the first question is: What does the Holy Quran narrate about mercy? The Quran says, "Has the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent as mercy for all the worlds." Additionally, the beginning of each ayah highlights the importance of mercy, and that is in the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. The second question is, how does Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam treat people after the conquest of Makkah? This question is quite similar to the question uh, that uh, that was in Medina's charter. It was KPK's book. Uh, the fifth chapter of KPK's book, and uh, the question in which uh, uh, in that book is, how did Prophet Muhammad treat people after the conquest of Makkah? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has treated people with kindness and mercy, even after the con uh, even after the co conquest of Makkah. No house was robbed, and conquest happened without any bloodshed. He asked the non-believers, "What do you expect at my hands?" They all enchanted in one voice, kindness and mercy. And Prophet did the same. The next question is: Has the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a mercy for all? Explain. Now you have gotten amples of examples even within the chapter. So how I have taken it? The this phrase suggests Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not only kind with human beings, but his mercy embraces all the creatures, inclusive of animals, birds, plants, trees, and all other creations. These examples. Best illustrate Prophet's mercy. Prophet announced hellfire for the woman who mistreated cat, forgiven the sins of the person who quenched the thirst of a dog, and became angry when Sahabas took the chicks of a bird. Hence, he is a mercy for all. Okay. The other question is narrate an example of kindness to animals from the life of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Again, this is the uh, a kind of repetition from from the same questions. So you can restate it in a way. Once Prophet was coming back from military campaign, and uh, Prophet's his companions uh, took the check of a bird. Moreover, you can also mention the example of uh, the cat and the dog. What reward did the traveler go, uh, get on quenching the thirst of the dog? Now you know the answer. Yes, yes, very good. The answer is the traveler's sin would be forgiven when he quenched the thirst of the thirsty dog. How should we treat animals? Now, this is the question for you guys, and uh, we are already going towards the sphere rather. So, how should we treat the animals, and what are the arrangements we should make for the uh, those animals or birds even? Animals should be treated with kindness and mercy, and we should take care of their shelter, food, and water, particularly in summer season. And also the winter season, the sweer season basically, and it could be sweer summer or sweer winter. What lessons do you get from the life of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in all its merits, its significance in the present age? Okay, the first question, the first part of the question deals with you. Your task is just sit for the second and think. What are the lessons you have received from this chapter, and then. um what are the lessons which i have uh, absorbed from this chapter is the lessons which i get from the life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that we should be kind and merciful in all the situations even if the situation goes against us and even um it goes against our nearest and dearest one with the rise of technology we have lost patience and kindness we look for instant results now this part deals with the present situation let me change the color of the text this part deals with the present situation with the rise of technology we have lost patience and kindness and we look for instant results additionally using abusive words and impolite behavior is considered cool and trendy the lesson of patience from prophet's life is quite significant as it has helped us in realizing our impatient and impolite behavior and assists us in becoming the better versions of our selves this is pretty much all about the questions the pre reading the while reading questions and the 
post reading questions and exercise questions and this is the most demanding part um, and that is summary obviously you get um, six marks question on the summary and i have discussed a few points regarding summary on my previous video go back listen to that and you will able to summarize the text on your own so the summary of this chapter is you can see i have comprehensively include all the present ideas present within the text so the summary is this chapter narrates as muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the most respected person in the history of human civilization why because of his wisdom kindness and mercy prophet's mercy has give, proven through quran and sunnah as we have uh, discussed the examples from quran and sunnah his merciful behavior is not only for the believers rather he shows kindness and generosity towards non believers birds animals and all other creations within the chapter prophet's mercy has been illustrated through multiple instances where he shows his mercy the prophet announces help for the woman who was cruel with a cat and he has announced the forgiveness of the person who satisfied the thirst of a dog i have used the same concept but different vocabulary this is how you do your summary at the same time the prophet has got angry with the sahabas who picked up chicks from a bird's nest moreover he has treated nomad with kindness in response to his bad behavior not only this he has given the kind treatment to the captives of badr even when uh, they were his bitter enemies adding to the discussion his generosity can be observed through the conquest of makka makka was conquered without any bloodshed the prophet forgives his worst enemies and general amnesty has been given besides women have enjoyed the great and equivalent status after he got the nubuwwat also he treats children with love and care and do not get disturbed when they are around so this is pretty much all about my side i hope i hope everything is clear if there is some issue you can discuss me with me you can tell me and uh, yes you are not supposed to cheat this content uh, you are not supposed to copy this content rather you will become a creative writer and you will just grasp the idea and you will rewrite your your own summaries and your own questions for yourself um take very good care of yourself take very good care of your near and dear ones and even after all those lectures if if you do not understand anything i am pretty much here i am just a text i, I am just a comment away just comment me about your confusions and i'll resolve uh all inshallah inshallah mm, okay take very good care of yourself allah hafiz for now we will meet soon with the second chapter inshallah